Welcome to CCPS Science Review Lab. I've got one for you this week. Check out my picture here and tell me why I've stuck these two images together. We've got a dinosaur, clearly, and a gas station. What do the two have in common? How many of you remember working on the carbon cycle? Let's go back and remember what that's all about. First big important point, all living things are made up of carbon atoms. So if it was alive at any point, it was made up of carbon atoms. That includes our friendly neighborhood dinosaur on the last slide. Okay, when living things die, the carbon they were made of doesn't just disappear, okay? They break down, the living things break down, and that carbon becomes part of the soil. As those living things break down, their bodies release energy. So heat leaves their bodies and leaves the soil and re-radiates up into our atmosphere. So important ideas to remember about the carbon cycle. Number one, every living thing is made up of carbon. When something dies, the carbon doesn't disappear. It becomes part of the ecosystem. As those living things break down, the energy that was contained within those living things is given off as heat. Think of almost like a compost pile if you've ever felt one, how they're really super hot. Okay, that's that energy coming out of what used to be a living thing. Now, we very often will construct a scientific model to demonstrate how all of this works together. Because remember, within Earth's atmosphere, nothing is disappearing or going away. Everything is part of a cycle and gets reused and repurposed and sent through again. So let's look at our model here. We've got CO2 or carbon dioxide in the air. Plants use that along with the energy from the sun to photosynthesize. That's where they make their glucose, where they get their energy from. When that plant dies, just like when that dinosaur dies, it decays and becomes part of the soil. The carbon that it took from the carbon dioxide and stored in that glucose as sugars for energy, that carbon then becomes part of the soil. Over time, it builds up and in the cases where you have large deposits, i.e. where dinosaurs used to be, you're going to end up with fossil fuels. Those fossil fuels, gas and oil, will later be brought up to the surface and used in that case, they will be chemical emissions that put that carbon back into the atmosphere. So you can see how we're using this model to demonstrate that the carbon that exists within our atmosphere is recycled through over and over and over again. Not recreated, not made new, but recycled through. Now that you've had that little refresher, go ahead and look at this model of the carbon cycle and see if you can figure out how it works in this ecosystem. Show me what you know.